Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to your daily angel messages. Oh, lots of love around. <laughs> Fiery love at that, passionate love. <laughs> okay, um, please bear in mind that this is general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone, despite what some people think. And uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, you can contact me direct at my um email address all the links are in the description you can check out what readings i offer on my website i also offer angelic healing and if you would like some spiritual life coaching with me want to work with me that way please contact me as well okay oh definitely got um alchemy and acceptance and of course if you are uh new here please subscribe welcome back to all of all of those of you who um come back for all my readings thank you very much for supporting the channel oh, we need some discipline somewhere as well hmm. interesting okay you can join this channel for extra perks as well and i do a live which i'm going i did last night which was my first live and it was really um interesting and fun and i'll be doing that um as long as you're in the centaurus membership or the orion membership and that will be every i'll say let's say the first week in uh every month so probably if i can do a wednesday it'll be within that week in the first week okay so if you want to join the next one because we discuss all sorts um about you know being psychic medium uh world uh channeled messages we get more messages i do some messages where, um for people when we're on there as well and see what we can get anything you want to talk about okay it's great to have some discussion points so okay right so alchemy discipline what do you have to be disciplined about there's something um work i mean told you have to accept that something's not working any longer and you have to have the discipline yourself to not keep people pleasing and keep trying to do uh something that um others want you to do you have to be disciplined it's almost like uh, one minute i and i've been in this situation so i know one minute you think, oh, no, I need to back away from this person. I need to back away from this situation. And then something will change. And it can be like a little glimmer of hope. Or, oh, that person's not as bad as I thought, really, because they did this. Uh, and then, you know, the situation's improved slightly. Uh, and it keeps you stuck because you go back to it. You give a little bit more to the situation and something goes wrong again and it's worse. And then you're, in, should I, should I not? So it, it's talking about that kind of discipline. Discipline about your yourself. Yeah, being disciplined and actually moving away from uh, something that's not good for you. Toxic relationship, this can be work situation, whatever it is. Get a battle plan drawn up. How are you going to move away from a job that no longer works for you? Uh, you know, do it constructively. Don't just sort of, wander off because that's not going to help get a plan together think logically think straight about it and that's about leaving a situation like a marriage or something like that it's it's time to be disciplined this is not going to take you any further okay and it's about real really accepting the situation this acceptance um and needing needing to move on these orbs tell me there are a lot of your guides are pushing you forward as well um definitely there's love on the cards for somebody very fiery passionate but be careful because it could also burn you this person i get the impression is very much uh a, no there's a siren to warn you um goes in there gives you everything and then uh, uses you all up and then discards you next type thing so be careful of that energy uh, very passionate you could be passionate which could make you a little bit obsessive so be careful of this energy okay and then there's something that uh you've been waiting for that the gold is coming in there's money uh abundance blessings the ship is coming in definitely and uh, 
there's some idea, something that you've got that you can turn to gold. You can definitely turn it to gold and um, make it work for you. OK, so that's to start off with. OK, let's see what else we can get. Actually, we're going to go more of these angel cards. OK. Hi, I did enjoy my live last night. Uh, apologies, though, for saying um, I got Kansas in my head for some reason. <laughs> And instead of saying Arkansas, I said Arkansas, I think. So please forgive me. So embarrassing. Never mind. Um, right. So friendship and union. I think I'm get, I'm putting that on top of the discipline card. There's, there's a friendship where somebody is uh, using the other person up. They need to be a little bit more disciplined and to think about the, um, that that person is not to be used. It's almost like other people are noticing what's happening, but that person isn't, and uh, that they're getting used. Um, yeah, you have to treat them more like a friend. You're gonna have to be much more disciplined. Learn to say no, okay? I'm getting um, compassion. Somebody needs to show compassion in a situation. An argument, let bygones be bygones, let the situation transform and somebody's going through a transformation, spiritual transformation, transformation in home life and work, I'm being told. They're having to accept a situation uh, was not what they hoped it to be. I definitely think that's to do with the fr friendship. Somebody's having to work away from something toxic, but it's learning about learning to say no and learning to appreciate yourself. This is a lesson for you. Learning um, to have boundaries and to respect yourself. You can't do everything. Yeah, not everything will work for you as well. I'm getting that for somebody. Definitely blessings and abundance coming in, uh, being showered with gifts. I always say this is something connected with music. Treble clef, um, it, that's what it reminds me of. It's a gift. Somebody's been gi given the gift of music or given the gift of a love for music that they can turn into something that will work for them. Somebody listens to music and it helps them take flight with their imagination for artistry, for writing, for drawing. That's where your uh, abundance will come from. It's, we're talking sound healing as well. There's something about music. You could be spiritually setting up a, you know, a spiritual business with sound healing or using music somehow in your business for your work. And it helps you spring off into um, a loaded imagination, I'm getting, which is really beneficial. So start using music. Okay, what else have we got? Yeah, something that's been parked for a while that you thought was forgotten about is uh, being brought out by the angels. They're being, um, they're showing you that this is the way to go forward. It's something you didn't really think was going to happen. Uh, you put it to one side. They're taking it out the parking lot of ideas. That's what I always say with this card. So have a look. Is there something that's coming into your mind? It may be when I'm talking to you now that it triggers something off but it's something from the past possibly childhood that they're bringing forward to you and they want you to use it for business work some idea maybe it's a career um, idea that you had as well a company that you wanted to work for oh. angel of white light now white light is uh for me healing energy it's also a source me so uh whatever you're doing you're connecting to source you're getting downloads you're getting uh spiritual communicating with angels communicating with source directly okay doing work for source giving information back to source okay so that's something through dreams as well you may be having some prophetic dreams strange dreams okay Okay. 
but the energy yeah there's something you are very dedicated to very protect protected over as well oh those faces look a bit scary don't they it's yeah very protective over it i've just got the dedication to what you need if you're going to be a record breaker <laughs> That song. So yeah, if you're gonna get there, you're gonna. Uh, some of you aren't putting enough work into something. You need to be dedicated if you want to get there. You have to push the boat out to get to get what you want to get to that um, nirvana state in business, in work, in a relationship as well. They're asking you to push the boat out a little. Somebody needs attention, and you haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah, you've been asked to be organized as well. If you want something different for the future, to uh, organize it, plan, be an empress. If you like that room, you know, it's the Jade Emperor. I'm thinking of uh, um, Aries, could be, and the, um, the Emperor and the Tarot deck. Okay, I will be doing a tarot reading after this. This is angel messages. So, okay, um, definitely. In order your thoughts as well. There's a lot of chaos rumination. Um, choose what you want to do. I'm getting for some of you. It's one thing, and you have to be dedicated to it completely for it to work. One relationship, one um, career, something like that. Something you've um, really wanted to push for. A business as well. You have to be so organised. Get all your ducks in a row. You're not organising enough. You're not planning enough. You're not writing enough down. You're not um, I'm getting flow diagrams, Venn diagram, flow diagrams, that kind of thing. Uh, you need to plan your work more because you'll see it grow if you do that, if you follow a plan. That's what I'm being taught. Oh, I'm two there. Okay. Yeah, because abundance is definitely going to come in for you. But you've got to work it. Uh, you are receiving guidance at this time. Somebody older as well. I mean, this is Alden, but there's definitely uh, somebody who older who is ready to give you guidance, almost like a troubleshooter of this person. They've been in your situation many times before starting businesses or this type of career. It's a mentor. They want to give you help. Please allow them to because you're going to get abundance coming in. Let me finish off with one of the, oh, we'll finish off with one of these productive time oh yeah this is great i love this card pinnacle if you want that house if you want everything then you've got to put the dedication in you've got to believe in yourself you've got to get rid of uh people and things that are being uh toxic around you naysayers people this is family included who were telling you no uh you really have to say no to them Draw your line in the sand. No, I believe in me. I can do this. I know I can do this. You just need a plan. You need to be logical, constructive, and you will get the castle. You will get the castle. You'll get everything. <laughs> okay. It's like you're on a nightly quest and you're going to get this castle. This is like the um, Ten of Pentacles to me. Yeah. Um, the Ten of Pentacles card in the sun. That's <laughs> and the sun. And this is, uh, to me, the pinnacle, getting everything, rising to the top in your profession. Yeah, you need a plan. You need to believe in yourself. You're not believing in yourself enough. Yeah, get it planned. Get it working. It's all there for you. You're being guided. You're even being guided by the universe. You've been, you're being tested by the universe, some of you as well. And there are some friendships that are hold, holding you back by because they're using you up instead of respecting you. You need to be attracting people who are more respectful to you. You know who I'm talking about, the frenemies. You know who they are. Uh, you know, don't let them hold you up. Be a bit more disciplined. Uh, Self-love, self-care as well. OK, uh, because whatever you're going to do, it's to help other people as well as yourself. And you need to have those boundaries in place before you do do it. That's for some of you. Uh, but rising to the top. Good luck. Take care of yourselves and I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye.